I can think of no positive evidence for any kind of intelligent or divine design, neither in human consciousness, which is a mysterious phenomenon, we need an explanation for it, maybe one day we'll get it, but it's not going to be helped by uh, postulating anything supernatural. Similarly, you might think that the origin of the whole universe um, requires some sort of intelligence. Once again, it's a deeply mysterious problem, the origin of the universe, physicists are working on it, but certainly that won't be helped by postulating a supernatural intelligence because to postulate that merely raises bigger questions than it answers. The reason I'm convinced that God doesn't exist is, well, I'm not really convinced God doesn't exist. I I'm, I'm simply turn it around and say there is no positive reason to think that God does exist. And therefore, although God might exist, he is no more likely to exist than the tooth fairy or pink unicorns. And so why bother to believe in something for which there's not a shred of evidence when there's so much for which there is a great deal of evidence and you could spend a lifetime finding out about it? Has human evolution come to an end? Uh, nobody knows. Um, if you look at the way natural selection ordinarily happens, the most fit creatures are the ones that have the most offspring by definition, and the reason they have the most offspring is that they're good at something. Over the past two or three million years, humans have got bigger and bigger brains, uh, presumably because individuals with bigger brains survive better. That would be natural selection. There's no reason to suppose that to, in today's world, the individuals with the biggest brains survive best or indeed reproduce most uh, fecundly. Um, so there's no reason to suppose that the same natural selection forces are going on today. I, I think in a couple of million years' time, humans will probably be extinct, but that's only based upon the fact that most species do go extinct, um, and it's possible that we may have evolved into something else, especially if we colonize others, other, other worlds. Then you probably would expect that natural selection would start, um, uh, that species would start diverging, because there'd be very little gene flow between the various colonies.